Cups. Greenville getting these two NCAA tournament regionals, it's a big deal. Now don't take my word for it. Take it from somebody who knows more about women's college basketball than anybody in our area. She's called three games in this tournament so far. They are coming off a loss to an arch rival, a loss that was heartbreaking in many respects at home. Kelly Gramlich knows what she's talking about because for four seasons, she's been a women's basketball analyst for the ACC Network. This is a sport. You know, this is a game. It's not life or death. I, I am not out there saving lives or anything. Let's have fun with it. It's supposed to be fun. But also, I, I take my role of highlighting female student athletes and, and the work they put in and how good they are very seriously. Gramlich came from Texas to Clemson, where she was a star outside shooter. She was the first Tiger to make eight three-pointers in a game. Kelly. I'm sorry, everybody. <laughs> We're ready. <laughs> yeah. Hey, yeah. Hey, Ooh. Kelly. Ooh. Now calling and analyzing games on TV, she can't wait to show off Greenville, a city that's become her home. I just think it's so exciting when Greenville gets to host some of these big events, and people may come for the first time, and every single time they say, wow, I, I had no idea Greenville was that big, or I had no idea Greenville had that much going on. So I just think it's great for the city. Gramlich calls South Carolina a state that's embraced women's hoops, thanks to Don Staley, the coach who turned USC into the sports elite program. I call this South Carolina team specifically, I believe they're the best rebounding team that this sport has ever seen. And Pat Summit always said, rebounding wins championships. Defense wins games, offense sells tickets, rebounding wins championships. Greenville's regionals will send two teams to next weekend's Final Four. So will you be entertained? Gramlich guarantees it. The level of play, not just with the, the size and athleticism of the athletes, but the shooting ability, um, the offensive ability, the speed of the game is all at an all-time high. And if you come and watch, you can tweet me and say, I was bored, but I promise you, you won't be. By the way, Kelly also co-hosts a very good ACC football podcast with another former Clemson Tiger, Eric McLean. And if you didn't notice, she's about to become a mom. Kelly and her husband are expecting their first child in May. That's so exciting. Mm -hmm.